Good morning everyone, my name is Carla and you have reached my floss tube channel, Carla Being Crafty, where I talk about mostly cross stitch but also other crafts that I like and a little bit of life thrown in. Um, today is floss tube number 183, it is Sunday, March 19th. Um, <clears throat> so welcome! Um, if this is your first time finding my channel, I hope that you like what you see, want to hit like and subscribe and all that good stuff. I'm hot this morning. I feel like I'm fogging up my glasses because I'm, I'm warm. Um, and it is not hot outside today. It is like super gray and not attractive. And yeah, it's really, really gray outside right now. Um, it's a kind of early, I guess. It's, it's about nine o'clock, a little bit before. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, I don't know why I'm so hot. Maybe I'm Maybe I'm getting a cold. I don't know. Um, but anyway, if this is the first time, your first time finding my channel, thank you so much for coming by. Um, if you really like what you see, I do have a super thanks button below. Um, and I always appreciate it when somebody uses that, although it is not necessary. If uh, you are a returning viewer, um, thank you so much for coming by and spending this time with me. Um, hopefully you know how much it means to me that you are here and spend uh, a little bit of time with me each week. Um, I, I love it. I love your comments, most of your comments. Um, and um, and yeah, I just, I, I love doing this and um, so glad that you guys are here with me on the journey. Um, <clears throat> last week I was talking about sort of, I wasn't really complaining. I was saying that I'm just incredulous. These people who have uh, thousands and thousands of views uh, on their first floss tube or whatever, or immediately have a thousand or two thousand subscribers. Um, I think it's a, a lightning in a bottle kind of thing. It doesn't happen for everybody. I mean, more power to the people that it happens for. Um, come here, baby. Got a cat down here. You know, I start talking to the camera and he has to come around. Um, but anyway, so when I was talking about that last week, um, I got a lot of people commenting on that, um, you know, kind of weighing in on why they think that happens or that it's weird or whatever. And I got a, t a couple people who, um, who commented, you know, with very nice comments and they are like, I don't get it either. And both of them were like, I've been doing a channel for however long and I only have so many subscribers or I only get these many viewers. So... Of course, if you are a subscriber to my channel, a regular viewer, and you have a floss tube, and, um, you know, let me know, because I will, of course, subscribe to you. I love to watch your videos, and um, and I will shout you out, so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, so the two people that did comment on my videos um, were uh, Jeep Girl Stitches and Silver Bunny Stitches, so Silver Bunny is uh, B-U-N-N-I. Um, and they're both floss tubers, um, have been doing it for a little while and need some love from the community. So, um, so yeah, if, if you are in that camp of somebody who, um, needs people to get the word out, then let me know. And I will, I will for sure, uh, let people know that you're out there. Um, One thing I want to do, and, and I, seriously, I, I debated when I was doing my notes for this video this morning. Um, I debated saying anything, but I'm gonna. Um, most comments that I get are lovely. And even sometimes when I get a uh, a constructive criticism comment, um, I think people are doing it with the best of intentions. And, you know, they're just giving their opinion on my videos. Um, but let me say this and I, and I'm not speaking for everyone. I can only speak for myself, but I do my videos the way I like to see videos. Um, I don't feel, I mean, I feel like I'm just putting myself out there. Um, my vi videos kind of, you know, I do have a kind of format. I mean, if you've watched me for a while, you know, I, I ramble around at the beginning and then I show, uh, other things and then finishes and starts and then whips and then we talk about plans and haul if there's anybody any and you know like that that's pretty much my my format um <clears throat> so i like that format and if you don't then there are a billion other floss tubers out there for you to watch 
Um, I did get a comment, constructive criticism and very polite and kind, but they said that I talked too much at the beginning and just get to the whips because that's what people want to see. And my feeling is, is that no, people want to um, make a friend in the community. Um, of course, there's going to be people out there that only want to see the whips and don't want anybody to talk about anything else. Um, and that's fine. And maybe I'm not the channel for you. But I know that the people that I watch, the people that I watch regularly are people that have come to know, to feel that they're my friends. And yes, I want to see their projects. I love seeing their projects. But really, I want their personality. I want to know what's going on with them. And, um, and that's, that's part of why I watch Floss too. It's not just for the whips. Um, there's a couple non, non-craft, uh, people that I watch and all they're doing is talking about their lives and I love watching them because I like their personalities and I like feeling like I'm getting to know them. So, um, I know that there's a lot of floss tubers that put their life stuff at the end so people can leave. Um, I just never did it that way. And for me, I want to get the, I, I want to do the catch up first and that's my way of doing videos. So, um, thank you for the constructive criticism, but I'm not going to change the way I do things. Uh, not significantly like that. I'm also not going to change my hair color. <laughs> not that anybody said anything this time, but I did in the past have somebody that said that they thought my hair was distracting and I would do better if it wasn't purple or pink. And, um, if you don't like it, you, you don't have to watch, but that's me. That's the me that I am now. And, um, and I like the me that I am now. And I like the way I do my videos. And I like the fact that um, I feel like I have friends in the community because um, of the way I do my videos. And um, so, yeah. So I guess I'm just saying uh, that while it's fine to give constructive criticism on anybody's video, and of course everybody's entitled to their opinion, um, don't think that you're going to make people do stuff significantly different just because you have that opinion. Because if they have any kind of success with their channel at all, they're doing something right. Um, so anyway, that's what I want to say. Hopefully it doesn't come across as being uh, contrary or, or dare I say bitchy. Um, but really, you know, um, I'm kind of happy with my channel. Um, of course I want it to grow. Of course I want to get more, more likes and more subscribes and more people, um, who want to be a part of my community. But, um, but I like the way it is now and I just want to, you know, grow from here and not necessarily change the way I do everything to suit a few people's ideas of how it should be done. Uh, there's, there's enough people to satisfy everybody's tastes. Okay, um, another thing that I feel like I need to talk about as a PSA, um, and this is not something new. If you guys watch Floss Tube, you've heard this from many, many other viewers. Apparently, there's a big wave right now of trolls who are commenting, oh, excuse me, my nose is running, who are commenting not on my, uh, not to me, but are commenting on commenters' comments, um, and are like, I guess they... Um, I don't know what the right term is, but like steal the channel's pictures. Like, so my picture, so it looks like it's coming from me, but it's not. I mean, I don't think it, they have my name. Um, somebody actually, uh, emailed me and said, you know, I saw a bunch of comments like that on your channel. And when I went to go look, I could see that there were additional comments. In other words, so if somebody commented to me, um, and I replied, it would say that there were two replies, but there was only my reply there. So I, I, that's all I could see. So either somebody already like reported them and they got kind of removed or there's some kind of filter or something that I can't see them. I don't know. Um, but all that to say that I will never tell you guys you know, that you won something or, I, you know, and go to this site. The only thing that I will ever say, and in fact, I don't think I'm going to comment like the congratulations comments going forward. If I do any kind of giveaways in the future, I will announce it. And then you guys can contact me on Instagram and we can connect that way. But I will never send you to a site. I will never ask you, you know, 
put in your information or your, you know, whatever they're asking, because I don't know, I haven't seen them. But that isn't me. Um, if you get a comment like that, flag it, report it, um, you know, do all those things because it isn't me, it's trolls, you know, trolls button into our, our fun here and taking our kind of like wholesome uh, floss tube experience and putting something negative in there. So it's not me, it's not from me. As of now, I can't even see any of those comments. So I'm sorry if you got them. Um, I used to see uh, kind of porn comments uh, a lot and I would flag those as soon as I saw them and get them off of there. Um, but when those trolls come on, I can't, I can't do anything about it except for remove them if I see them. Um, so yeah, um, I guess we all have to be, be diligent and fight against the trolls. Um, okay. Zoom today. Hopefully, like I said, it's nine o'clock. So by the time I finish this, I have a couple hours for it to upload. So hopefully, um, YouTube will be kind to me and we'll get the upload done quickly. So possibly if you forgot about the zoom, you'll be able to see this and remember. So zoom today at two o'clock, uh, Pacific time and all of the information for logging in is below and I would love to see you guys there. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, that's it. That's all my rambling. It was only 11 minutes today. Um, and we can get into seeing some crafty stuff. <laughs> I don't have any paper crafting this week or any diamond painting, but what I do have to show you that is more unusual is a blast from the past. So I was talking to Julie, who is, uh, stitching at the cabin and she and I, um, we text each other occasionally where uh, I think we, we try and wet up each other on the, um, the enabling. Um, but, uh, I, I ordered, which I showed you guys like months and months ago, I ordered something from Hirschner's and because I ordered something from Hirschner's, I started getting the Hirschner's catalog, um, which is fun to kind of, you know, flip through for a few minutes. And, um, I was looking through it and I saw it was a needle point, but it was a picture that I just knew I just knew Julie would love it um, because she has birds. She calls them chickens, but they're all parrots, different kinds of parrots. And she really likes stitching bird patterns. She has several and they're all really cute and vibrant and beautiful. And I saw this pattern and I'm like, I got to show it to her. You know, she needs to know that that's out there. So I sent her a picture of it and she was like giving me a hard time because I, I forced her. I forced her, twisted her arm to go and buy that pattern. But anyway, so we were talking about it because um, she just received it. Oh, excuse me. And <laughs> she was saying that there was another um, pattern on there that she really liked that was the parrot, but it was like a latch hook. And she was trying, she was like, I want my daughter to do it for me, but I don't think she will. So we started talking about latch hook and I was like, yeah, I have a latch hook that I've been working on for like 30 years, 20 years, something like that. I started it a long time ago. Um... And she's like, I do too. And so she pulled her out, hers out and she showed me, sent me a picture and she had like, you know, this much done. And, um, and she goes, I should start working on it again. She actually, she did. She texted me and said she had, well, because we were talking about it, I had to go haul mine out. Now mine, this is really embarrassing. Mine was in a corner behind my TV. So it was actually really hard to get at. And when I pulled it out, cobwebs, dust, it's disgusting. So I need to wash this definitely before I start working on it again, but I did pull it out. I haven't worked on it. I think the last time I worked on it was when I was in my apartment in Long Beach, which was 2018, I think, or 2017 when I worked on it last. So as I said, it's filthy and I need to wash it before I start working on it again or it's going to, you know, give me a terrible allergy attack. But um, I'm so close to being done with this, you guys, that it doesn't make sense not to, to continue working on it. So I'm going to show it to you. It's kind of big, so it's, here we go. Of course, I can't see what I'm doing, so hopefully you guys can see that. But, I mean, it's pretty, right? It's, it's really pretty roses. And this is all I have left. Not much. And latch hook is super easy to do. Um, so yeah, it's, it's 
filthy though. I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, you can see right kind of right here. That's, that's the dust. So hopefully that'll come out. I think I need to give it a bath. Um, just like soak it in the sink or something. And then I can, and dry it. And then I can work on it again. So, yeah. So thank you, Julie, for making me haul it out. Um, so this is a latchet kit. Let me see. Natura. Rose Decay. Let me see if this has a date on it. Let's see. No, there's no date. Made and printed in the U.S. But I mean, seriously, I've had this for, it has to be at least 20 years, if not more. So, if you're not familiar, at least with these kits, they come with the yarn pre-cut and these little ball-y things. Well, they're not balls, but... Um, and then sometimes they come... I mean, they come with a latchet or they don't come with a latchet. I don't know. You have to get a latchet. Um, making me want to sneeze. It's so dusty. This is a latch hook. So it's really easy to do. Um, you, you basically, you put your hook through, through where you want to have your thing. You fold the yarn in half and then you just do this little pulling it through deal to make your Stitch or your latch or whatever and then uh, you just do that and when it's done you can like seal the back there's like a glue that you can put but it's not totally necessary you just you seal the edges or you use a, a binding tape to sew the edges down and kind of trim the yarn and that's it you can put it on the wall you can put it on the floor so yeah, so I have another craft here that was in the, really close to being done. So I really should finish it, but I can't even start to work on this until I get <clears throat> some of that dust off of it. Okay, so that was my blast from the past. Thank you again, Julie, for making me pull that out. Um, and uh, actually, I think I'm going to have fun. Now, the one thing about latch hook is you kind of have to do it when it's cooler because it gets hot having that big rug sitting on you. Um, so we may have missed a, some of the window, but we'll see. I might I might try and work on it a little bit and get, you know, get it done. Um, okay. I don't have any new starts this week, but I'm seeing if my hands are like super dusty. I do have a finish which is exciting. And I finished Gigi. Yeah. There we go. So I finished the broom yesterday. I left the little printed butterfly. I don't know how well it shows. I mean, especially if you are back further um, up close, you can kind of see it. And it's fine, whether you can see it or not, I think it looks fine. Um, and then did the beading. Um, I kind of had a surprise when I went to go do the beading <laughs> and I pulled out my bead uh, contain, you know, my little suitcase that's full of beads. And uh, I didn't have any of the beads that were for this project. I had, well, I had two of them. There was like six different ones that were needed and I had two. So I just went through and I picked other ones, you know, that would fit. They all called for kind of like the mini, um, I guess the delicas or the, I don't know, the ones that are really tiny. Um, so I had some other colors that would work that were, you know, similar to what was called for. Um, they were all 
very small amounts. So I was like, I was like praying I would get through it. And I just, just got through like, um, so yeah, I did it, you know, slightly different than called for, but I still think it looks pretty. Um, I'm going to frame it the same way as Eva or that's not really a frame, but I have to order that. And then maybe next Saturday I'll be able to iron it and hang it and show it to you. But I'm going to really pretty much use this whole piece because I just think it looks really, really cool on the background's fabric. I like that she's in the foreground of the cottage. I just think that looks really great. So I was happy to get another finish for the year. And yeah, so yay, finish. Okay. So aside from that, um, I do have four whips this week that I worked on. Um, I did spend one evening working a little bit on my Be My Own Valentine style that was supposed to get done last month. But, you know, these timetables are my own, so. Um, so here we go. I worked on sort of the border a little bit and then this leaf a little bit and that is where I'm at. Ella came out to play this week. Ella the Frog Princess by Mirabilia. So the next three that I have, um, three fancy ladies, three different designers. I have a Mirabilia, I have a Bella Filipina, and I have a Joan Elliott. So. I did not work on her skin this week. I went, instead of going, working in the top, section, which I did last time. I worked on her dress a little bit. So I worked down here. This giant dress. Um, but I did kind of that peachy pinky flower and I filled in everything that needs to be filled in right here. She's really big, so I feel like she's going to take quite a while because her dress is, like, massive. I'm trying so hard when I, when I fold her up to put her away to, like, not fold on exactly the same fold, but it's hard. It's, like... You kind of want to do it neatly, but it's actually kind of better for the fabric if you do it more messy and not on the same folds. Okay, I did work on Bellatrix. This is the Bella Filipina. So here's the big picture. And then what I worked on was down here. Um, I brought her dress all the way down. So that is the bottom, the start of the bottom of the dress. And then um, I was, I was feeling concerned about, uh, placing and stuff. So I brought this borderline all the way down to make sure <coughs> that it was going to clear. I hadn't counted uh, something wrong. And what's weird is like, this is stitched right here. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a part of the candle, which goes down. 
And then this like white splotch is right where the candle's gonna be, but that was not planned. So it looks it looks kind of weird right now because it looks like that, well, it does. The white goes right into that white sort of splotchy area, but that just is sort of by coincidence. So. And then I fixed up here, I have, I have some counting errors in the border and um, I don't know why I chosen to like adjust it in a way that made this corner off and I was like that doesn't need to be I can adjust it not in the corner so I pulled out some stitches and fixed the corner so it was square again and yeah <clears throat> She is so pretty. I mean, they're all pretty. Like, I pull them out, and I'm like, oh, why haven't I been working on this every day? And then I, I feel the same way the next day when I pull out a different one. And then, last but not least, is my newest, my Joan Elliott Sweet Pea Fairy. And I was working on her skin this week, which I'm doing two over one tent, but this is on a 32 count. So it is, it is challenging, um, doable, and I would do it again, but it is challenging. And, um, so I filled in a lot more of her skin, but you know, of course it takes a long time and then you... I show it and it's like, oh yeah, big deal. But I did work all evening on her shoulder right here. Or no, actually it was this side. And that is it. That's all my lips. Okay, so plans uh, today, as I said, it's a Zoom day, so I will be stitching on my counting canvas piece, <clears throat> which is this one. Um, and as I've said before, um, I do counting canvas while I'm on Zoom because um, it's easier for me to see um, and normally I stitch the, the glasses that I stitch with. I just use magnifying glasses. I use them for my regular, like reading, whatever, and I use them for stitching. But the magnify, the magnification that I use when I'm stitching is like double the magnification I use, um, just for regular seeing. And the problem is, is that the magnification that I use with stitching is too strong for me to see a screen. Um, <clears throat> so... If I'm trying to do something on the computer, you know, on Zoom or some other kind of online social whatever, while I'm stitching, I can't see the screen and the stitching, so I keep having to like switch glasses and you know, and it it drives me crazy. So if I if I stitch on that, which I can see with my regular magnification, um, then it all works out. So that's why I work on that kind of thing while I'm on a Zoom. I was trying to stitch yesterday actually and I went um my friend Tracy I talked about I talk about her all the time and she's been in some of my um <clears throat> my stitching meetup zooms and um and everything she started a, a discord channel I don't know exactly what it is discord is a another kind of um platform for people to meet up and everything and she started, she started a Discord platform, um, <clears throat> basically for people who are still dealing with uh, COVID and um, not getting COVID and people who are immunocompromised and just people who are aware, let's say. So it was started with that basic community in mind, but basically the channel just took off um, and they do all kinds of stuff. They just have meetups and they talk about different things and a lot of like social stuff so on every other Saturday she does they have like a gaming group 
and they get on and they just, you know, chit chat, introduce everybody, and then they go and they play games on like Board Game Arena, or there's other people who can, um, the Jackbox uh, games, if you're familiar with that. Anyway, so I haven't gone on yet, and I went on yesterday, um, because it was their gaming day, and um, I was having that problem. I was trying to stitch and trying to see the screen, and um, and at one point I just had to give up on the stitching because I, I, couldn't, get, I couldn't keep going back and forth. It was driving me nuts. Um, but anyway, so that is today is the zoom and stitching on that. Um, then, you know, the rest of the week is going to continue the same, um, next month, which is April will be, uh, my friends and family. Um, I haven't started to gather the, the stuff yet that I'm stitching, but, um, it's pretty much, I mean, it's all stuff that you've seen. I have two planned new starts. I have the uh, solar system that I'm going to start, um, which I think eventually, well, I don't say I think, I know, it's eventually going to be for Hudson, my nephew, and then um, I'm going to start a new bird for Tracy. I've done two for her. I did two birds, and then Stacy and I did the chipmunk. I have another bird. Um, well, I have a ton of bird patterns to make for her, but it's time for another one, and I think I'm going to do the cardinal this time. Um, so those are the two that are planned starts for April. Then in May, which I realize this is, you know, we're way ahead, but I just want to tell you guys, just in case you're interested, um, I was watching again, Julie from Stitching at the Cabin and she got this pattern. Um, I think, I don't know. She, I, I don't remember the site she was saying she went on some site and they were having a bunch of sales and she ended up getting this little dimensions kit. Um, of this cute little owl and I have this this was given to me by my friend Don Frisch who is really the first uh, the first floss tube community person that I ever met um, when I went on a trip with Erin and Stacy to Arizona to my cousin's son's bar mitzvah um, and I met Don for lunch and she gave me this cute little pattern as just sort of a memento of us meeting and me being in Arizona so um, it's so cute. And, um, and this is the one that, uh, that Julie got. So when she showed it on her channel, I was like, I have that pattern. We should stitch it, you know, sell it, which in reality means we'll start it at the same time. And then who knows when either of us will finish it. Right. Um, so we're going to start it in May. Um, I don't know that we have a hashtag yet. Um, May, and I, I'm pretty sure that this is right. I have to find my my list of my themes. But my May theme, I believe, is my felines, felines, feathers, and scales. So it's going to be all of my like cat whips and um, dragon things, and then feathers. So I'm going to the two things I'm going to be starting that month is now this one and um, the Teresa Winsler peacock that I got. So. I just want to tell you guys about this in case you have this pattern or you think it's adorable and want to get it and start it with us. Um, that is going to be a May start. So I would love to know if you're going to start it with us. I mean, look how cute he is. It's called Prickly Owl. Um, it comes with 14 count ivory Ada, which probably I'm going to switch out or die. I mean, I might use 14 count, but I, I, you know me, I'm not like a big, you know, cream or white Ada stitcher. Um, and I think this would be cute on like a, like a modeled blue. Um, not super bright, but just a light, like a touch of blue, I think would be really pretty in the background on this one. Um, so yeah, so if you would like to start this with Julie and me, then we should be doing that in May. So that gives you, you know what, a month and a half to get the pattern or think about it. <laughs> okay, so that is pretty much it. Yep, um, it's a short one today. Um, I think I think I went over everything I needed to go over. I told you about the trolls. Don't you know? I am not going to send you anything that says go click on this site. Don't ever click on anything unless you know 
exactly who it's from because that is the biggest way to get scammed is to click. Even if you get messages, I mean, I know you guys all know this, but I have to go through these trainings at work every year um, that they talk about this because it's such a prevalent thing. You know, if somebody says, oh, your account's been suspended, whether it's Amazon or PayPal or or your email or whatever, your account's been suspended because of whatever, click here, you know, and you're like, that's wrong, don't click. <laughs> that is a scam. Um, if any of these companies have a problem with you, they're not going to send you a text message that says click here. They're just not. So you need to, if you need to talk to them about it, your bank or Amazon or whatever, you need to go to their site and find their phone number that way and call them. And I'm telling you, 99 times out of 100, it's going to be like, no, that's fraud. Because they do not contact you that way. Um, years and years and years ago, I got sucked into that kind of thing. The second I did it, the second I put in my password, I knew, oh, I've been scammed. And it was, it was an email thing and I had to change my, you know, my email password. And then a bunch of people got, uh, you know, fraudulent emails that were from me. So yeah, don't do it. Uh, same with like on Amazon, when you get like friend requests from people that you're already friends with, do not accept those because they've been hacked. I know you guys all know this. I know I'm just, you know, telling you things that you already know, but for the one person out there who was like, really? I didn't know that. Um, be careful. I mean, it's hard because, you know, I think most of us have trusting natures and we don't want to think that there's all these people out there who are out to try and hurt us or scam us or get our money or get our passwords or whatever. But unfortunately, that is big business. So, okay. Um, I'm into my rambly phase, so that means it's time for me to sign off. Hopefully get this uploaded and hopefully see a bunch of you at two o'clock today. So I hope you guys have a great week. Until I see you again, please remember to be content, be kind, and be crafty. This is Carla. Bye-bye.